when companies create a job posting, they hope to attract the best talent. However, sometimes it backfires. For example, if a job listing uses misleading language or overly lengthy descriptions, it could end up repelling highly qualified candidates. Recently, the Paychex team surveyed Americans who have looked for a job within the past year. As a result, job seekers across the country shared their current standards for evaluating an open position and what constitutes a potential warning sign. Let's look at what respondents considered to be the top 10 job posting red flags and how they impact the application process. Compensation is one of the most important aspects of a job, especially now. So, it's unsurprising that not including a salary range was the top red flag for job seekers, 65%. For many candidates, omitting that information implies that perhaps the salary range is low. Not including a salary and using the phrase gain experience could also signal that the company expects you to work for free. Second to not including a range at all was listing a low base salary. Sometimes, a great benefits package can make up for a salary that's a little lower than you want to accept. But if the pay is much less than you know you're worth and there aren't other benefits to compensate for it, it may not be worth considering. One of the most frustrating parts of looking for entry-level jobs is the requirement to have several years of experience in a related role. Having that expectation is extremely discouraging for new graduates trying to start their careers while needing to be compensated for their work. Job postings that include a vague reference of pay commensurate with experience is another potential warning sign for job seekers. For one thing, it stated. It also signals that the company is paying you based on experience, skills, and education and training rather than the work you'll be doing. Just as employers don't want to see misspelled words in a resume, candidates are turned off by the same mistakes in a job posting. It shows little attention to detail and looks sloppy and unprofessional. The best candidates know their worth and will generally be put off by these errors. If you have to tick a lot of boxes even to get your foot in the door, it could be a red flag. That's because the company may not really know what it's looking for, which means you'll be set up for failure. Also, it could mean the scope of the role is too broad, in which case you might be over your head right from day one. More and more top candidates consider paid time off benefits an important deciding factor when choosing a company to work for. So, it's no surprise that omitting this information can be detrimental to an employer. It only takes one sick employee to infect many more. When this happens, it spells productivity troubles for the company. Therefore, paid sick leave is a must to attract the best talent, especially in the current environment.